Radiant Black is the brand new Image superhero series from beloved comic creator Kyle Higgins. That's right, the man who gave the world cowl is currently writing Ultraman and breathed fresh life into the Power Rangers franchise, brings us a brand new superhero book with all that flavor you love from the world of Sentai. So without further ado, let's hop into issue number one and see what it's all about, shall we? So then, before we begin properly, in the effort of full disclosure, I'm actually reviewing this book early. It doesn't drop until February. February 10th, but I managed to snag myself not one but two early copies, one from Image Comics and the other from Mr. Higgins and his people. I only bring this up because 99.9% .9 of the time I'm buying my own books and don't ever receive review copies. So then, with that out of the way, as the comic opens up, we're introduced to our main character, Nathan Burnett. He's a struggling writer in L.A. who's just been told by the bank that they're going to be denying his loan application as he has over $30,000 in credit card debt. But, like, now is the worst possible time because his YouTube channel is really starting to go places. I mean, his collection of short stories is about to be published. Sorry about that, I just instantly relate to this character trying to pursue their art career while having the harsh, cold boot of modern life kick them square in the nads. Did I also mention he's currently driving for Uber and just cried in front of his new fare? Oh man, there but for the grace go us all, am I right? Hey, interesting fact, Nathan is an old Hebrew name that means to give, and Burnett is a French corruption of an old Scottish nickname, Brunette, usually given to someone who dyed stuff for a living, normally a darker shade, usually brown. So when we put that all together, Nathan Burnett's full name literally means to give a darker shade. And trust me when I say that name is going to make a a lot more sense as we dig deeper on into the story. So now a poor and financially destitute Nathan is forced to move back home to Lockport, Illinois with his parents, and while mom and dad are very happy to see their son again, it's hard for him to feel like he isn't a giant failure. Nathan's childhood friend Marshall tries to cheer him up by saying that Lockport is a lot different since he left and that the town is really happening now. Man, you know, as someone who grew up and is currently living in a dead and podunk northern town, let me tell you, people like this are always saying that and they're almost always wrong. Marshall, as we discover, is a guy who, unlike his very well-read storytelling friend, keeps mixing up his metaphors. Also, while he's happy to see Nathan again, too, it's clear that he's dealing with a lot of repressed feelings of abandonment, like they were always meant to write their great stories together, but never did, because Nathan left him for L.A. Speaking of stories, eagle-eyed readers probably already noticed that on the TVs in the bar we can see the Savage Dragon, one of Image's other big-time heroes. Now, is this a fun little Easter egg, or could this possibly lend credence to the rumor that was floating around not long ago that Radiant Black may actually be the next big step in trying to bring back a shared Image superhero universe for the modern age? Hmm, interesting. Nathan ends up having to drag a very drunk Marshall out from the bar later that night only for both of them to end up coming face to face with what looks like a strange floating mini black hole. Nathan touches it and before you can say origin story is gifted with a full super suit. One that looks like it has just as much in common with a Power Ranger suit as it does anything worn by Spider-Man or Invincible. At first, Nathan is understandably freaked the hell out, but after he realizes that he now has the power to fly and stop speeding trains from wiping out him and Marshall as well as two cops who stop to hassle them, he starts to think differently. As Nathan so eloquently puts it, he failed as a writer in LA not because he was bad at it, but when push came to shove, he didn't even finish his book. He blew his chance at doing something great, but now this suit, these powers, maybe it's the universe giving him a second chance to do something worth a damn. And I mean, really, how hard can being a superhero be, right? As far as he knows, he's the only one who has these type of amazing powers. Only, the problem is, he's not. Because as the comic comes to a close, we see someone in a very similar costume robbing a bank. And so that was Radiant Black issue number one, and I must say, even if I wasn't already the easiest lay in the world for this mix of superhero and tokusatsu trappings, I still need to give this first issue major props for really painting a picture with its main character, Nathan. He's like a modern-day Peter Parker, likable but filled with self-doubt and real-world problems, some of which hit incredibly close to home and that are much scarier than your average giant monster or supervillain. You can tell that for the creator Kyle Higgins, all of this comes from a very, very personal place and that all of his other comics before have helped to serve to crystallize this newest story. 
It's also very cool to see Image get behind a concept like this one, and I wish the very best for the series going forward, which is why I give it a very positive 9 out of 10. Hmm, now I just gotta sit here and wait for them to put a quote from me on the dust jacket for the trade. Ah, then I'll have finally made it. Hey there everyone, Cape Jewel again, and I want to thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. As always, if you liked what you see, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. It really helps drive engagement and helps me out too. Also, if you are a patron, which you can become for as little as a dollar a month, you will get exclusive content that no one else can ever see, and you'll get to see the Comic Multiverse podcast before anyone else too. You can check out all this and more down in the description. And until next time, everyone, this has been Cape Joel, and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.